Hi Air Science, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching and welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at what is keeping your person blocked. So we're going to look at their blocked energies. What's keeping them stuck or stagnated? What's stopping them from moving forward with your connection and just in general? What's keeping them stuck? So what is it that's blocking them? If there's any internal or external factors and how we can maybe try and help alleviate some of these blocked energies. It is a general reading, therefore it is going to be, the messages are going to be general, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So let's go give that card a shuffle and see, you know, what is keeping your person stuck. So I just want you to take a moment and focus on your person and their energy. Focus on the areas that you would like to improve you know, with your connection with them. So for instance, if you feel like your person isn't isn't very good at communicating what's uh you know what's holding them back from opening up or if you feel like your person is very closed off what's holding them back from coming forward here so just focus on the areas that you would like to unblock Okay, <clears throat> this is intricate. Uh, this is very interesting. Your person has behavioral patterns. I'm picking up that your person has behavioral patterns that they exhibit from time to time. So, for instance, as with your relationship and as with previous relationships in the past, they have a tendency to sometimes self jeopardize or self sabotage relationships maybe because they're scared of emotional intimacy um, they're scared of commitment uh, which i do feel like is coming up strongly especially with the magician and his energy so every time a relationship or a connection gets serious or something looks like it's you know it's something stable it's something long term they vanish or they pull away this is behavioral patterns um, and this is holding patterns that they continue to exhibit. So they have some paradigms which I feel like need breaking or need shifting. And there's something a lot more deeper and intricate there. So your person, I feel like, has a fear of commitment. They're not, the good news is they're not incapable of commitment. Because I feel like with their energy, they're coming up as someone who can be um, very loyal, very capable, very committed, very stable energy. So they have the potential the sad news is that person doesn't realize or that person isn't utilizing their utmost potential here. So I feel like if they work on themselves, especially if they work on themselves internally, it will vastly improve things externally, especially when it comes to your relationship with your person. Your person has a very strong attachment. They may even have an anxious attachment style here. They may have a tendency to cling to I feel like they have a tendency to cling to certain people, especially if that person is placed somewhat of a security blanket for them. They do want a future. I feel like your person does want a future and they do want to move things forward. So the intention is there, except I feel like there are certain obstacles that keep popping up from them. Again, I feel like a lot of it is internal. Your person, I feel like, has been really hurt in the past with the Four of Swords as a wounded soldier. And I feel like your person hasn't dealt with some of this past hurt or past pain. This is still lingering and it's, it keeps surfacing in, in all romantic relationships, including this one that you have with them. So if they continue to suppress some of those emotions or some of those past hurts, unfortunately, your relationship will not manifest and it will not blossom, blossom in the way that you want it to. So first and foremost, I feel like there is... There is some internal inner work that your person has to do before the overall relationship can improve. They have abandonment issues, okay? I feel like they might have grown up in a home in which maybe they they might have not had a full-time mother or a full-time father. Their father or mother, mother might have just walked out on them. Um, they might have been in a relationship in which their lover, in which they felt abandoned by their lover, or they may have they may not have very strong relationships with their siblings. They definitely have abandonment issues. And because they grew up with it, it's a sense of normality for them. And this is why they tend to, 
This is why they themselves tend to ghost or they tend to pull away or they tend to vanish, especially when things start getting serious. A, a lot of it is, you know, they're only mirroring what they had seen growing up or they're only mirroring or playing out essentially, you know, what has been a reality for them. So this is behavioral patterns that they are attaching themselves to. If you can break some of these behavioral patterns, if they can work on themselves and if they can, you know, really see and identify uh, these emotional triggers, I really feel like it will greatly improve your connection. But first, I do feel like your person needs some inner work. They need to work on themselves. I can see that there is hurt and I see that there is emotional trauma or even insecurity issues that your person needs to work with. These abandonment issues, they have, they have trust issues. They feel like everyone that they've ever loved has disappeared or, you know, has just vanished on them. This is why they do it to other people. They say that hurt people hurt others the most because it's all that they know. It doesn't make them a bad person. It doesn't make them a bad energy here. I don't feel like they're malicious in any way, shape or form, but I just feel like your person has been so accustomed and so adjusted to the pain that they feel like pain is all they ever know. And then they feel like pain relationships come with pain, you know, romantic, professional or business. They just associate pain with such a large part of their life growing up so hurt people do hurt others and they tend to hurt others the most now your person i'm not sure if this is you coming up here or your person i can see that they do have a strong desire to be with you they do have plans for the future and you'll notice that the two of you will develop plans for the future here or you have been talking about plans for the future so the intention is there but there's there's a sense of fear in carrying out these plans the two of you right now, with regards to your romantic relationship, you're on the edge of a precipice, but you're also a very disproportionate energy. Now, this edge of the precipice means that there is something about this connection that they share with you is pushing them outside of their comfort zone. It does feel slightly uncomfortable to them. Okay. Now, this isn't entirely a bad thing. I want to clarify. So what I mean by that, and I want to clarify by saying that your person has foreign feelings, so they have not felt about anyone the way that they feel for you okay they have not in their mind's eye they have not developed plans with anyone in the future that the way that they're developing with you here so this is unfamiliar territory for them okay and it's scary stepping outside of your comfort zone is very is always very scary why well because essentially we're stepping into the abyss of the unknown we don't know what lies ahead and essentially it's like dropping someone into a dark forest and getting them to find their way in the middle of a dark forest and getting them to find their way out you don't know what lies ahead okay you don't know where to go so your person has fears they have anxieties they have insecurities about moving forward now this ties into abandonment issues this also ties into commitment issues so this is what they need to work on i recommend that you take baby steps in order to preserve this connection because i do feel like this is someone who has a very strong attachment to you and they may ghost okay or they may disappear on you but i do feel or there may even be a fluctuating presence but i feel like there's something that will always keep them coming back to you again that you know foreign feeling that they feel for you they've not felt for anyone else i've mentioned you the two of you have a disproportionate energy this is really important because what's happened is you will not be able to manifest this relationship if the two of you are not on the same wavelength and you're not. The scales are imbalanced and they tipped over and not necessarily in your favor as well, air signs. So what we need to do is we need to get on the same page, you guys. The two of you need to balance out the connection. It's not going to be easy to do, but I feel like first and foremost, your partner really needs to find a way that they need to center themselves. Okay, They need to find their balance, their inner balance, and they need to center themselves before the connection can be centered. Uh, the same message could apply to you. And then the two of you need to get on the same wavelength. Because you're, if you're not a vibrational match for other, for each other, try as you might, this will never work. This is why you need to get on that same wen wavelength, on the same page. You will need to see eye to eye. Okay? The two of you both need to go in the same direction if you both want to end up with each other. Otherwise, your, you know, your, your paths will split here. So... This is what I mean by a disproportionate energy. We need to find a balance, okay? We need to find a balance and we need to center ourselves before the two of you can, you know, have the connection centered. Okay, guys, so this is your reading here. I hope that these messages have been helpful for at least some of you, if not all of you watching. Um, I do feel like there is promising potential with this connection. 
but you know all creature all human beings um, are flawed creatures so look there definitely needs to be some inner work if you're after personal tarot reading with myself feel free to reach out guys otherwise i just want to thank you all for watching for listening for tuning in i'll be sharing more tarot love messages with you in the week so uh drop in then also um feel free to show your support by subscribing to this channel liking sharing um and I'll be catching up with you guys later. Bye for now.